lot of people ask going into an event, how much of this is mental, how much is physical? Well, there are a lot of great athletes, but there aren't a lot of mentally tough athletes. And so I think that reality is way more of an integral part of sports or elite sports than physicality, right? So I would say mental is probably 75 to 80 percent where physical is that 25 to 20 percent. But we're obviously training our bodies a lot more than we train our mind. And so what we have to try to do, or at least what I try to do, is I try to take an, uh, a specified amount of time within my training regimen to really dial in and focus on how I want to compete, how I want to train, things that I'm thinking, influencing myself with positive thoughts, but also visualizing my opponent's going to be. And so that could be numerous things, whether it's watching video or you know having someone replicate what that feeling's like. We do what we call simulation days, which we try to make it as stressful as possible. We have live referees come in, we have music, we have crowd noise, we have, uh, you know, we wear our real uniforms and singlets in practice. And so it's supposed to simulate everything that would happen on a, a typical competition day. And so I think the more that you can try to replicate that, the more comfortable you get when the actual day arrives for you. Um, and so, yeah, I think we try to practice mindfulness and thoughtfulness as much as possible. Breathing exercises, um, spending time in saunas, cold tubs, really dialing in on our psyche and our mindset. Um, those are some of the things that we've, we've used to work on. Wow, that, that's a lot, yeah. And that makes so much sense, too, from the perspective of, of meditation and just understanding the brain, right, that we need to prepare ourselves for the, the moment before it comes, right? Just that basic yeah. understanding that, you need preparation. You need you need that simulation day, like you said. That's really fascinating. Um, and then I wanted to just ask you one more question about meditation. What was your first impression of meditation when you tried it, or you know, I don't know what your practice is now, but what was it like for you? Yeah, you know what? Well, my first thought process about meditation and young athlete was, this doesn't work. I don't need this. I'm tough. I don't need this. But then I realized. I get old, got older and there was more pressure, more anxiety, more stress, more responsibility. I had to really focus on my mind because it's, it's been taboo for a long time. There were times where I would meditation, sports psychology, peers and my teammates, like, what's that? You don't need that. So I think that I got to a point where I was comfortable enough to tell people, no, like, I want to be well around. Not only am I physically. I want to mentally be dialed. So when this moment comes, I'll be ready to perform at my best. Um, and so when I first got introduced to meditation, I didn't think very highly of it. But now with three kids at home, a wife, a lot of responsibility outside of the wrestling arena, I've recognized that it's such a helpful place for me to get a sense of peacefulness and freedom, and really just grounding myself throughout the the day because I have so much responsibility. There's so many people that are counting on me. There's so much that I have to do and get done. And there's so much that I want to do. Um, so I've got to take care of my mom. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great, uh, you know, like my uh, mindset to have about meditation that we have this, these really busy lives and people pulling at us. And there's this preciousness of, of our meditation practice. And even if you only get a few minutes a day, it's, it's, really important and precious sorry i said that's all you need Just yeah exactly so let's segue into our practice yeah. into our meditation and um i invite you all you know whether you're a beginner or you've practiced for a long time to really try it out really kind of give yourself the chance to try it and to greet whatever you discover whatever thoughts or feelings you're having right now with openness and curiosity and more than anything, kindness, right? So a huge misconception about meditation is that we're trying to get rid of thoughts, that we're trying to suppress them or, or push them away. Uh, but actually it's about a relationship to our thoughts. So we're greeting them with like, oh, well, it's just a thought, right? Let me watch it come and go and then come back to my anchor, which is either, you know, for our practice, our breath or sound or other some, something other um, that we can sense in the environment at, right now. So I'll guide you through it. No worries. Um, Excited. You're professional. So this is a lot different than me putting myself through, I think. 
Yeah, yeah. It's a little, it's, I come from a mindfulness based approach. So it's, um, my my expertise is in that area but um yeah so i'm really excited to share it with you and and everyone watching and um you can i really invite you to close your eyes but if that's bothering you for whatever reason you can um always rest your gaze on a spot in front of you but let's just take a moment um to get comfortable in our bodies right so as you close your eyes just notice where your body is right now Notice what surface you're sitting on or lying on. 